Hey guys, I wanted to take a video of my tank, talk a little bit about um, what's going on with my plants right now. So it's a 10 gallon tank, got about 14 fish in there, everything from uh, white cloud minnows to um, quarries to autos to um, I have some galaxy reservoirs in there. Some of my favorite fish are the ruby tetras and the um, scarlet baddies. But the goal, I think, was to just have a tank that was nice to look at, and I love having a lot of plants. And without CO2, I do okay. But um, And I have the Carib C, the eco-complete substrate. But without CO2, I don't, I don't think I can get to the level that I really want to get to. So that's when I started looking at the Seacom Flourish and um, the Flourish Excel. The thing is, well, let me, let me zoom in here. This plant is a good example of what I'm talking about. So it's grown up quite a bit in the last few days, in the last week or so. But you see how the leaves are uh, kind of crinkled a little bit. Let's see, this is, this is a better example right here. So these leaves are really kind of crinkled and not flat. Um, now I have a book about aquatic plants and apparently that's due to, um, I think, lack of CO2. And a mixture of lack of CO2 and a lack of uh, some, I think it's iron or something. So instead of risking my fish and my shrimp that I have in here, I figured I'd try the Seacom Flourish Excel. And so the result of that after maybe two days was you can kind of see these new leaves uh, are pretty flat, pretty wide, a little bit more colorful, even you can see even more so up here at the top. These guys grew, this last cluster grew quite a bit in just a couple days, just from when I started using the Flourish and Flourish Excel. The reason why I'm taking this video though is because I'm about in about a week and a half and I've stopped using it in the last maybe three days because take a look at these plants down here. Um, could be a big coincidence but it looks like these guys are just simply dissolving. Um, do you see the leaf? How bad that looks? There it's kind of focused. It almost looks like the someone dipped it in acid or something like that. I don't I don't really know how to describe the look of it. It started happening over here and I noticed it first and I was like, oh it must just be, you know, one leaf. But then it seems like down here towards the bottom you have a couple of, of examples of this happening. So now these plants, some of these plants don't seem affected by it. Like these guys they seem like they're flourishing. And you can really see the effects of of the flourish. Um yeah, these especially, but these plants. The one thing about these is I've had these these plants in this tank before. It was really planted like this, kind of by themselves, in white sand that for almost three years, just not really doing anything, growing minimally. Nothing. I didn't have any fish. I was using tap water, so they were probably in the worst possible condition they could have been in. Um, but they survived, and now I'm seeing them kind of dissolve like this. It makes me kind of nervous because I. I've, I've had these plants for a long time, so it'd be kind of sad to lose them by making a mistake. So here's the deal: I I was dosing about uh, one milliliter per week, or maybe every three days of the Flourish. And the Flourish Excel, I started getting a little bit greedy with, and I added in um, after the first initial five milliliter dose, I started adding added in like one drop for two days and then I had in two drops and the next thing you know I was adding in like half a cap. So I think this is just a matter of me overdosing. Simple as that. But I'd love to know if you know if you look at this and this looks like over an overdose of Flourish Excel then that helps me out a lot because I, I can kind of pinpoint it. I haven't dosed in a while though and the thing seems to continue to do this. Now the one thing too is I dose up in this, this is one of those eclipse tanks and I dose up, let me turn on the light here, I dose up in the 
filter areas because I figure that's not directly on the fish, but it's right, you know, right here. I let it kind of sit there for a second, and I'm sure it gets spread out throughout the entire water. But I don't think that can cause the problem, which is interesting because I have the output nozzle kind of angled against the glass and pointing down here, and I notice that this is where most of the, the dissolving or the, the the leaf disappearing is happening. So. Um, anyway, I was hoping for some suggestions, or if it's simply a matter of the fluorescent cell causing this all this to happen, then I mean, I guess I kind of answered my own question. But um, I don't know if you guys have had similar experiences. I did read one comment on Amazon where somebody managed to dissolve their entire uh, their entire tank worth of plants and kill all their fish, and everyone responded saying, "Well, that's just because you overdosed." And he was like, "No, I didn't overdose. I added the exact amount that I was supposed to add." So. I don't know. I'm not trying to say that you know I I didn't make a mistake, but it'd be interesting to see if other people have had the same kind of reaction. So, I guess the summary is some plants are doing pretty darn good. Um, the areas that were already kind of covered with a little bit of dot of, of this algae and crinkled, you know, they're they didn't recover fully, but the leaves that are the new leaves are looking pretty good. These plants are flourishing. It looks like uh, I don't. I'm trying to remember the plant name, but I don't. It's probably pretty easy to look up, though. And um, on the other hand, I have these kind of these these. I guess they're, these are sword tails, I believe, um, that are just dissolving. So anyway, I hope someone has some suggestions. And if you have general suggestions about the tank, the way it looks, um, ideas on you know fish or plant upkeep besides using CO2, then I'd love to hear it. Um, thanks a lot, guys.